What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5. <laughs> Michael, being the devious man he is, decided to drop by this lovely club and witness some exotic dancing. Mm. <laughs> you like this? Oh yeah, I know what I'm saying. Like here, let's make it rain. There you go, baby. Stick that up your ass crack. Go on and shake it for daddy. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, basically last time a lot of crazy stuff went down, as always, and, um, listen, on the real, what is the point in a strip club? Being in a strip club would be like going to a restaurant full of delicious food and paying to look at it. I don't want to just look at the food, I want to taste it. Know what I'm saying, my man? Yeah, you agree? I want to taste everything there is Hell here to yeah. offer. Mmm. Okay, so, uh, yeah, e either way, um, last time Michael became essentially the unhealthy version of Tom Cruise, we were, um, grappling off the side of a building. Oh, shit, I can get a private, oh, two ladies. You want a private dance? I want more than a private dance, know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, the best things in life you can't pay for, so I'm sorry. Gotta leave. Jerk. I am so sorry if you watch this video in front of your parents. I have probably ruined your life, haven't I? <laughs> it's Grand Theft Auto, okay? Bye. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we grapple off the side of a building and uh, the whole team is together now because I mean, for whatever reason, doing a job for the FIB requires Trevor, Franklin and me. And yes, unfortunately, Franklin got roped into it. So, I mean, I don't know how that's gonna exactly work out. He went from a street hustler to a professional gangster. So who knows, maybe he can hold his own, but yeah, either way, that's what happened last time. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Although I still think Trevor's going to kill me. Oh yes, and we met this douchebag with the FIB that seems to think he owns the world. So that's always fun. Okay, so uh, for now, we have a job down here with Franklin, I think, but that's for Franklin, so I'd have to switch to him. Let's drop in at Michael's house and uh, see what's up. What the sorry. Hell? I am uh, so sorry. Oh, Whoa, oh, listen, oh, homie. Yeah. Bro, you don't have to do this. I will get you a private dance in that exotic dance club. Okay. The whole street wants to kill me, man. Let's go, Michael. Come on. You're in the wrong neighborhood. Woo. That was close. They wanted to peel my face off. So yeah, let's drop by Michael's house and uh, hopefully my skank of a wife isn't there. Maybe I can make a private little call to one of these uh, dancers. Have them come by. Taste the food, know what I'm saying? <laughs> Only joking, let's go. Oh, well if it isn't the douchebag himself, Mr. FIB Steve. What the up, Santa. dickface? That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor son bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself, right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse, off Dutch London and Banning. Great, sounds just like my kind of party. Okay, go to the warehouse. Well, it looks like we have a small change in plans. Let's go to the warehouse. And yeah, Trevor's back in town, so... I still don't know exactly what he has planned. I hope it doesn't involve killing me. I think he just wants to do a few jobs with me, but, uh, you never know. Okay, we can switch over to Trevor now. Let's do that. I guess Michael will drive there on his own. Okay, my boy Trev, what you doing? Please don't say you're smoking meth and murdering someone. Or pounding a hooker. A disgusting hooker that bleeds. Okay, this is the warehouse. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's taking a shit behind a dumpster. <laughs> the hell are you doing? Oh, nothing. Are you taking a dump? Oh, why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I got abandonment issues. Oh, wipe your ass. Week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know, nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. Did you see his face that last time I popped it? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> I don't like those two guys at all. He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> oh! Hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher. <laughs> Trevor's crazy. Do not cross him. 
You. Mm. Where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, Bob. What are we doing here, huh? This. Please. Keep oh, it's him! Keep away from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand. He's gone. He's gone. It's okay. I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael. And this... This is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here... He claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know. I already told nothing. Nothing. I don't know anything. Please. please. What's about to happen? You know about the Azerbaijanis. Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price. VIP, you know? You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> oh, shit! The asswipes at the agency know this. No. So I need oh, to know. Oh, shit! What did you tell them, and what did they tell you? This is about to get real fast. I told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? I. Hey. This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because no, I'm tired no. of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know? Go for a drive. No, wait, wait. No. You get to work, and, uh, I'm not here. Oh, no. They're leaving him with Trevor? He's your neighbor. Caesar's place, Rockford Hills. Yeah, I don't think you guys want to leave him with Trevor, especially if you're trying to get information from him. I'm just saying, he killed the guy with his foot. No, listen, depressed Dave. I, I don't think you understand the severity of the issue at hand here. If we leave that I'm man with seeing. Trevor, when we come back, there will be nothing left but a greasy blood stain on the chair and maybe some nipples. Trevor is a sick puppy. He's a methaholic. New word I just made up. This guy is sick in the head, okay? But hey, you're the FIB. You guys know best, right? <laughs> that guy is 100% dead. This is dead. time sensitive. 100% dead. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. Mm. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that mm. would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo hoo 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 for you. <laughs> you know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, uh. any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or? Or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? that there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Townley. Yeah, I was quite a... Watch it! I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. What? No, 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 no. Now hold up, depressed Dave, okay? Maybe I've been in retirement for a while, but I still run the streets. What's good? Pretty soon the name Michael Townley will strike fear in the hearts of everyone in the city of Los Santos. <laughs> no, that's not true. It's definitely going to be the name Trevor. Anytime someone hears Trevor, they are going to run for their lives and hide their children. 
Although I do like the idea of Trevor not beheading me, that part's not fun, but him taking over my family and raising them as his own. I would like to see that. My family's pretty goddamn spoiled and I can only imagine the horrific things Trevor would do to them. <laughs> uh, I really hate his family, like a lot. They're just so stupidly spoiled. I can imagine it now. The horrific things Trevor would do to Michael's skank wife. Good God, she would never psychologically recover. And my son, the spoiled brat that jerks off in his room all day. Yeah, he would still be jerking off, but uh, I think Trevor would be the one doing the jerking. Sorry, that's disgusting. <laughs> still, I think Trevor should have my family. This By all means, please. Bullshit. This place, Davy. They've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. Wait, no what? way that's your guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> you are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. I got it. Well, hey, you want a coffee? Sure, depressed Dave. Oh! Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No, who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Huh, please, look at me, please. Ooh. <laughs> So we're Come in a on. real bona fide torture yet. room, and I've got my instruments I, here. I don't know what this is you about. know, I am an artist of sorts. I have to pick I my know, instruments Azerbaijanis. carefully. I'm like a Jesus surgeon. Chinese. You need the right tool for the right job. Want, huh? We've got Mr. water. K. I'm assuming that's for waterboarding. Or maybe that's gasoline Just for burning someone's knees off. Say. I don't know. Pliers, most likely look, for pulling look. his nails out. Hey, hey, please. This please. is clearly for Come nipples and a massive wrench. Well, you know what? I've always been into nipple torture. Let's grab about. this. Not that. No, oh, yes. On, you ready you for those big old nipples to be warmed up? Oh, no, no, no. It's time to jumpstart the engine. Don't zap me. Listen, it's okay. Some Turn people find up. this arousing. It's a way to express their Don't sexual deviancies. Oh, <laughs> yeah, jumpstart that engine. Oh, good God, his nipples are smoking. <laughs> Uh, Woo! Uh, you can't! Smells like burning nipples in here. How about you give me that no, address, no, no. homie? Yeah! Woo! Yeah. Toasty! Uh, you want to tell me now? Don't zap me! Uh, don't zap me! Oh, I'm gonna zap you, all right. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa! Chill, chill! Mm. Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tay here. Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. Uh, I did oh. his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Uh. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. I feel like we didn't even have to torture this guy. He just wants Chumash. to tell us everything. You're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. What a dick. <laughs> hey, depressed Dave, you piece of shit. Pick up your garbage. Littering is a no-no. I may not have a big moral compass. I may do everything that's evil under the sun. But at the end of the day, when I die and go to heaven, the one thing I'll be able to say is that I never littered. Sure, I killed a bunch of people and raped and all that shit, but I never littered. And you're going straight to hell with Hitler. I hope you know that. Depressed Dave and his bullshit littering. Mother Nature is not happy with you. So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some... I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said... You'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. 
I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave, and you fucking know it. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me this guy that Trevor's been trying to get out for ages and he's been sending letters to, corresponding with, he thinks the guy's alive, but in fact he's actually taken my place as the dead Michael Townley? Oh, Trevor's about to be pissed. I'm 100% dead now. He's gonna behead me for sure. It's game over. <laughs> when he finds that out, <sniffs> you can have my family though, Trevor. That's that's cool. This will go good. ahead. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah. Uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh no no please! I tell what? you what you Loosen want to do. Loosen him know. up. No, please. Loosen him up. Okay, so we've. Shocked his nipples, that was quite fun, but I feel like he doesn't really I get aroused this. by that. Unfortunate. And it's Trevor's favorite sexual pastime. Back. Okay, so we've got, got gasoline or water. Uh, we could pull his fingernails out, but uh, I don't think that's gonna be too much fun for anyone. You got a preference? And we've got a huge, massive you wrench. Do you don't need to do this. But I have to, it's so much fun. Let's hit him with this, Please whatever that is. It. Hopefully it's not gasoline. How are we gonna know if the intel's good if it ain't acquired under duress? I will panic! My heart! It's torture! <laughs> yeah, yes it is! Yes don't it is! Do it. Don't do it! Let's no. flip the chair over. Yeah, oh, lay down, cowboy! Don't. Oh no, you look a little don't thirsty! You know, hydration is the most it. important oh, thing. Oh, you really do need your daily oh, H2O. Oh. Waterboarding. This is gonna be fun. There we go. Yeah, drink up, homie. It's hot out here in Los Santos. You need your water and electrolytes. Look at his nipples. Oh my God, they are Stop toasted. It. Oh. Done the trick. Help me pick this up. <laughs> that was torture. It was all a dream. It's a nightmare. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for this guy. He would probably hey, just tell hey, us hey, honestly. Hey. Now. Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I mean, so, yeah, 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 talk. this guy we're after, what does he look like? Average build? Come on. Average height? Middle age? Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're stalling. This dark better be hair. enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? I mean, not really. I'm not trying to shoot someone just because they're dark. Jesus Christ, my man. Uh, we're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. <laughs> What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. Switch to Trevor. This guy up here looks awfully sus. He looks like Dan Bilzerian, or whatever his name is. All right, let's go back to Trevor. It's torture time! That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit, I, I, I let me think, I... Oh, Sorry, too oh, late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's won today. Oh, okay. Oh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Steve, Steve, Steve. I wish you were in the hot seat instead of this guy. Apply the things pressure. we could do Come together. On. It would be beautiful. Just let me speak. Okay, so we've uh, oh, waterboarded God. him. We've tased his I nipples. I don't think his nipples can hold much more pain boss. that is. Uh, let's go with the big wrench. I wonder what that's for. It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, uh, that is a big <laughs> wrench. No, 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 no. Oh, I can swing it? 
Be gentle. Uh, I don't think it's you should so say heavy. that. It is very heavy, in fact. Okay, you know what? Let's just do it. Not. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 please, no, 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 My nuts hurt just looking at that. He's got beard. Oh, he's got beard. He's got bushy beard. Uh-huh. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. Huh? No. Yeah? I'm telling the truth. Bushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informant and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. Really? We're back in. Give me some eyes. I'm sorry, but I hate that Steve guy so much. Like, sure, everyone in this game is a bad person, the but- details matter here. Mm, the there's something about Steve. Okay, bushy for? beard. Steve saying beard, what do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Now, Homie, they all got beards. Party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters, we need more. Oh, great, we get to go back to Trevor. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. He's a, he's got beer. He smokes, he smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, Jim. maybe one more time, just to be sure. No, please, no, uh -huh. I told you, he, he smokes, that's all I know. Okay, well. Uh, we can try and taser his nipples again. Yeah, I really I don't want to do that. I mean, the wrench on the nuts. My stuff is hurting right now just That's thinking all. about the pain. Ah, what the hell? Let's go for it. Please don't. Oh, we're gonna pull his teeth? <gasps> I'm not a dentist. Not the pliers. I'm so sorry, my man. But um, no, 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 no. it's got to be done. I wish it were Steve instead of you, but my it's not. Perfect. Your teeth Wait. are perfect. I have to extract your tooth. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God, dude. This is the worst dentist appointment ever. <laughs> They're all root. They just keep going down. It feel like you ripped my jaw out. Well, that's what happens when you put the body through the ringer. Oh, better hit him with an adrenaline shot. In his heart. I'm still here. <laughs> That's what I felt like at school. I'm still here. Aw, <laughs> oh, poor guy. I swear he would have told us what we want if we just asked him. <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He changed smokes and he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Red with cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should oh. worry about. And he's left handed. Oh, now I get it. Bingo! You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. Mm. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. Now I'm taking the shot. Nighty night! I'm sorry if you happen to be the wrong guy, but someone's gotta die. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be, used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo, that is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work for the pair of you. Now I got a racquetball uh, game to get uh, to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up. That's a sport. Man, I wish we could have Steve in that chair. Mm. Let's go, come on. Wait a second, me too. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Oh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. 
<coughs> oh my god, is his nuts bleeding? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's ah, go. My man! All right. You're on your period! <laughs> okay, let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. His nipples are so red. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, that was so painful to watch! I mean, hey, luckily... how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're going to get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're going to spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We needed to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, Trevor. You are just so insane, my man. I've never seen anyone as crazy as you. He tortures for the torture. He enjoys it. I must agree, though, there's better ways of extracting information. You could get the guy drunk, give him some type of fantastic drug to send him out on a wonderful trip so that he might, I don't the know, loosen his tongue no up a little. No one drives me to the airport. Uh, torture just really doesn't work. It'll be... It's gonna be a little suspicious taking a guy into an airport that's bleeding from Run. everywhere. You're free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. Well! <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be okay. Okay, mission passed. By the book. I just really really hate that Steve guy. I, I don't know why. There's just some characters that rub me the wrong way. And he is most definitely one of those people. Okay, well, job well done. Again, I don't understand Trevor. He has no trouble killing a guy because he was having sex with the guy's girlfriend and the guy was protesting it. So in return, he crushed his head in with his boot. But then some random he's torturing he has no trouble putting him on an airplane and letting him go free. I, I I, just don't understand. Maybe it depends on how high Trevor happens to be at that moment. Like maybe right now he's a little sober and he's not as aggressive, but then back there at the beginning of the game when we first met Trevor, he was really high on all types of meth. Oh, speaking high on meth, let's look at this text Wade sent me. I seen a sub, Trevor, down at the docks on a ship called Daisy Lee. You could, like, snap the rope somehow, or maybe they is some switch to drop it. Wade. Thank you, Wade. You are very useful. Oh, another text from Wade. Fantastic. Only place to get this kind of chopper you need is Fort uh, Zancudo, boss. Watch out for helis in the area. Might be easier if you take them out first. Wade. Okay, thank you, Wade. Okay, so I don't think I see anything I want to do here as Trevor. So, uh, let's go ahead and switch over to my boy, Franklin, and see what he's doing. I'm not too sure how all of this is going to affect Franklin. I mean, he's obviously been roped into it, but by how much? Franklin! Did you... You threw that in the trash? How'd you do that with the lid shut? You better not be a litter bug. 
I mean, I understand the killing and stealing and all that shit, but your one saving grace when you get to heaven is that you never were a litter bug. You better not be like these other scumbags in Los Santos. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And just when I started to have faith in you, thought he was a good guy. Hey man, get your ass out of this car, bitch. Damn. I can sense you're a litter bug. I can smell it on your breath. Thanks for the free car. Okay, let's drop by Franklin's house, or rather, actually this isn't Franklin's house. Is this his aunt, auntie's house? It may be. Let's drop by and see what's up. Ah, uh, memories. My old neighborhood still smells like shit and homeless people. Fantastic. Uh -huh. Don't you step foot in this yard. Why, it's half my house. Now I'ma call the police. For what? This auntie. Auntie, boy. This auntie. auntie, what are you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what it is, homeboy. yo. You ain't been really? to bed, ain't came to none of the meetings. Mm, hanging out with old man, ignoring your homies, acting all superior. Your mama will turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbanger. Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I what, say smart? Right, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say, who is that? Hello, Missy. Uh-oh. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass Shut sister. the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Whoa, whoa. Here, darling. Why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? <laughs> You. Uh, listen, Auntie. It's, it's <laughs> He's not it's what he seems. Nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? Oh no. Now get the fuck out of here. All right. You Damn. You are all the same. <laughs> he yeah, really makes himself at home anywhere. Here? here with the boy. The boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends. All right. Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? I'm talking about the little stretch thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. <sighs> Come on Who is this man? Man? What is okay, he just wants to jump straight in. <laughs> so I'm guessing your version of fun is doing illegal gang shit. Is that what gets your blood flowing? Possibly dying? Listen, I realize you're used to making money when you do dangerous shit that's illegal, but my homie over here, Lamar, he is the king of turning up broke. I mean, he's funny, but goddamn, he does not know how to turn a profit on anything. Where's As you will see. Thing happening? Down Grove Street. Grove Street. Fantastic. Well, Trevor just decided to show up and make himself at home. By the we way, Lamar, what up. you doing in my auntie's Spraying house? Motherfuckers, I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you in stress set up? We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you and stress concerned. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh! First rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, Either you got some dust. Fool want to get butt naked? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, homeboy. Homie's crazy, man. <laughs> so I've heard. Mm, he's a little bit more than just crazy. He's not like the good type of crazy. Unfortunately, Trevor's the type of crazy where uh, he'll do angel dust and rip your face off. Homie live up here. So not the hey, fun look, type at all. Everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? Oh, shit. What you about to do, Lamar? Damn, nice neighborhood. For you, Trevor, I'm sure this is considered upper class. The wealthy side of town. He lives in a trailer, in a meth trailer park. So yeah, this is definitely a nice side of town for him. Janky. What's up, man? Courier service. Packets to collect. You got the grip? Present and accounted for. Ooh. You like that, huh? It's a bag of money. Oh, shit. Oh, we're picking up drugs. <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> that is a lot of cocaine. What the hell? 
<laughs> My throat getting numb already. <laughs> so we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now, you heard what your boy said, you're leaving. Hey, give me the, give me the back. Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. Yeah, buyer's remorse. Hustle, hustle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well. Oh, so you guys think you can scam me, huh? Hell no, nah, bitch. I want my cocaine. That's right. Sit your ass down, motherfuckers. Think you can scam me? Okay, so obviously Trevor has had plenty of experience being ripped off by drug dealers. Ha ha ha. That was straight up drywall. Jesus Christ. There we go. Oh, this is beautiful. And I actually have guns for once. Last time I had a big shootout on the streets, I was using a pistol. That's right, homies. You think you can scam me? Hell nah. I'm a professional gangster now. I know what's good. Trying to pawn off some cheap ass drywall on me. Think I can get high on drywall? I don't think so. How am I supposed to party with drywall, huh? Do I look like Bob the Builder? This is a lot of bodies. Good God. For a little bit of cocaine, are you kidding me? I mean, that wasn't a little bit of cocaine. That was a lot of cocaine, but still, I mean, come on. This is like all the gangsters on their payroll. If only you didn't try and scam us. There we go. Damn, I'm a sharpshooter over here. Hey, listen, Trevor, good eye, good brain. I can't believe I'm saying that. How the hell do you even have a brain after all the drugs you've done, but shit, I guess he knows how to scam people and how to look out for scams. This is ridiculous, dude. We are taking out like an entire cartel. Never try and scam Trevor. Like, you can do a lot of stuff to Trevor, but do not scam him on drugs. Jesus Christ. Oh, and the popo are here. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's just run while the cops are shooting at us. No big deal. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> we got buyer's remorse. Uh, yeah, I think we do. MC Clip. Clip. Wait right there, dog. Hold up. Hold up. Peace. Peace. And jack they ass, homie. That's our way up out of here. Put your fucking hands up. <laughs> Mind if I borrow these whips, bitch? <laughs> hey, bitch? Shit. Oh, on listen, thing. Lamar, you once know. again, what homie. You, you just do that not understand man. business, do you? Damn, it's staking this motherfucker. Shit ain't no river, man. It's a motherfucking sewer. Then we're in the right Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. We're in a jet ski on the sewer. Jesus Christ, man, this is disgusting. Oh, careful, don't want to beach myself. Well, this is just a fantastic day. You know, Lamar, you really have a knack for putting us in the worst possible situation. <laughs> oh, she jumped for it. She's in the sewage. Hey, listen, man, we did you a favor. We took out a whole ass cartel. I don't know why they're upset. Oh yeah, let's split for sure. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry Lamar, but the more I work with you, the more I come to realize you are actually the dumbest human in the hood. I mean, seriously? We were about to give that guy a stack of cash for drywall and a little, what was that, tenth of drugs? I don't even know what drugs that was. I mean, I'm guessing it was supposed to be cocaine, but I know for a fact you don't hand someone a bag of cash for a little bit of cocaine. <laughs> Hell no! Nah. Buyer's remorse, Jesus, the words they use. Of course I've got buyer's remorse. You didn't give us anything. Gotta love Lamar, man. I wonder if someday we're actually gonna do a job with him that doesn't end badly. 
I mean, so far, every job we've done with him has ended with a pile of bodies. This one was the biggest pile yet. I mean, we killed like 40 guys back there. Holy shit. There we go. Mission passed. Hood Safari. Okay, well, that wasn't too bad, right? Yeah, not too bad. I wonder if someday we're actually going to do a job for Lamar that doesn't end in a pile of bloody bodies. I mean, now that I think about it, every job we've done has ended with a bunch of people dying. We tried to repo a bike, pile of bodies. We tried to buy some drugs, that should be the simplest thing of all, ended in a huge pile of bodies. We tried to buy drugs from a guy we tried to kidnap from before, and we were like, oh no man, we're cool, ended in a giant pile of bodies. Lamar, my man, you are a huge jinx. I'm sorry, but you are. You are just a massive jinx that is probably gonna get me killed someday. So uh, yeah, let's not do jobs with him anymore. Like, good God, this is the icing on the cake. Okay, well, I got away, and uh, luckily Trevor was smart enough to check the drugs. And uh, I think now, do we have anything else I wanna do? Nah, I don't think so. I'm probably gonna end it there. Yeah, you know what? Let's go on and beach this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, another brilliant Lamar Davis job. Go south, police everywhere. We nearly died. And yeah, it's always a pleasure working with him. Never make any money, always have a lot of fun. And until next time, peace out.